The Sony A7C2 just got way better right now with this firmware update. Sony just dropped a new firmware, it is the version 2 for the Sony A7C Mark II. So I'm gonna share with you guys what's new in this update and also a little bit of test as well. So let's go ahead and check it out. So let me share you the process how to update this first. First, let's go ahead and open your camera and let's go to this option right here, the version. So make sure that you check the firmware version that you are running on right now. Compare this firmware version, let's say this is version two and let's say on Sony website, is already version 2 as well so there is no reason to update because you are already on the latest firmware but if you are on older version let's say version 1 right here then you have to update so the update process is very simple you just go to Sony website and search for your specific camera and then download uh, download that uh, firmware file, uh, download straight to your SD card and then put it back here into your camera. So make sure you have full charge of battery, you know, and then after you insert the SD card in, just go to the setting, go to this firmware version and then go to check again and it will ask you to update the firmware and you, you, need, you need to wait <coughs> for a little bit, you know, and also pay attention to this LED light blinking down the bottom, um, maybe down here. Yep, yep, this one right here. Just just pay attention. It take a while, guys, so don't rush. Maybe like sometime up to four or five five minutes. Um, just pay, be patient. After you finish this, I highly recommend you to take off the SD card and then in the setting, do this, go to your setting and you need to do a full factory reset on your Sony camera. I highly, highly recommend you guys to do that. Just make a full factory reset and then just start fresh new with that new firmware version. And the setting, there is a lot of new setting and new added feature that Sony have to introduce uh, with this firmware. So first, they introduce about recognition target to auto. So in the auto focus section here, go to the setting, you go to autofocus and from here you need to go to the subject recognition and then recognition target. So before there is no auto setting right here. You have only human, animal, things like that. You only have specific target uh, option. But right now this is a new option right here. It's called auto. No matter what you're filming at, if there is a car, it will detect uh, It will detect the car and focus on the car. If there is a human, it will detect on a human, focus on human, things like that. You don't have to do specific things like that. At least you, you know what you do. For me, I just leave it on auto. You know, this is what I'm doing day to day. Um, so I'm good with that option. Thank you, Sony. Next is the frame stabilizer. So go to your menu setting and then go to this option movie mode and then go to stabilization. And then from here, there is a new option here called frame stabilizer. So in this mode, you can do like center stabilize or you can keep it off. I don't know how useful it is. So there is called center mode and this is manual. So you can keep it off and on. So you, you can learn about this. You know, if you want to know about it, just click on this question mark, you know, automatically frame so that the subject being tracked is fixed in the center of the frame. Yep. So you can do this, you know, left or, or off or on. It's depend. It's up to you. Okay. Next up is allow OK and G keep. I don't know what it is. So I'm just going to read and you guys can learn it by yourself. Another option that Sony have just add in this movie mode, it call like shooting option right here. And then you can go auto create a still image. So you can leave it off or on depend. So this is work um, from your video. For example, you can you want to create an image from your video after recorded things like that. In focus mode, there is a focus magnify and auto magnify in manual focus. For example, let's say if you are in manual manual focus, I don't know if this feature is already here. We can go down here, go to um no 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 maybe here focus assistant and focus magnify this one right here 
I have no idea, but Sony have said that when using bright monitor feature, what is bright monitor features? <laughs> I don't know about that. So there is a lot of new features and changes that I quite like sometimes and sometimes I don't really need to tell you guys, I think. But the one features that I think it's good to know, you know, is that the auto target um, things like that and one special special features that I really want to share with you guys is in this section right here we have like four now you know we have off this is have no IBIS no electronic involved at all this is standard just the IBIS only and this is an active mode it's a little crop you know but it's still better than the standard and there is another one up here called dynamic active. This is gonna end up a lot of crop into your image, but it at least it's there, you know. So let's check with the crop. So how big is the crop? So let's start with um, the off one. So this is the field of view that you got right now in the frame. As you guys can see right here, look at the LCD of my camera. So we got a lot of thing in the frame so if i switch it to standard there is nothing changed at all between off and standard if i switch to active it's a little crop you know it's not much it's okay but if i go to active this is gonna end up a lot of crop in the frame so go ahead and hit this now as you guys can see there is a lot of thing being disappeared you know there is a little desk right here and standard is also quite nicely and off there is nothing in here as well let's do this you know you guys can see the difference it's huge one thing to note if you update to the latest firmware version so let me tell you this normally if i if i use my sony a7 IV in the past when i update to the latest to the new firmware it's not going to work with the third party battery. It, it does work, but there is going to be a message alert that this Sony, this battery will damage your camera, things like that. I use the camera, uh, uh, sorry, not the camera. I use the battery from, for, from KNF Concept. This is the third party battery and I'm using it right now. There is no message popping up, popping the battery off. Yep, this is the battery I'm using right now. And then let me insert it back. Okay, and turn it on. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. There is no warning at all. All right, guys, so this is the off. I have no stabilization enabled at all, you know. It is completely off right now. I'm just walking normally. This is um, how it behaves. Okay. Run, run a little bit yep there is gonna be a lot of shaky in the video and next this is standard one I'm just not walk, walking normally you know it's a little bit of stable I think and if I run it's gonna still a lot of shaky in this shot as well and right now I'm gonna switch it to active as you guys can see the field of view is a little bit of different this is standard and this is active so I'm gonna go walking just like I did it is a lot stable you know as I can see uh, I can see on the LCD if I run <coughs> it's still a little bit but it's way better I think all right so this is the new option the dynamic active this is just walking normally what i did you know it's crazy stable if i if i look on the lcd screen let me just run a little bit this is running the same as i did man this is crazy my friend and let's do a vlogging test see my beautiful face wow this is 20 millimeters i can still myself uh, see myself in the frame you know guys 
20 millimeters with the dynamic active mode this is stable if i have a selfie stick i can extend it a little bit i think i'm good to go and this is the active mode the regular that the sony already have in the sony a7c2 to be honest i think this mode is so good already as you guys can see i can vlog and the field of view is not that crop you know and it, it's still very stable you know i can tweak it a little bit in my pose you know try to stabilize it a little bit even way better than this i think yeah but this is very nice it's already very nice um, in terms of stabilization with the active mode but the standard mode is suck man <laughs> don't you even play with that but the active mode is very good to stabilize you know i got 20 millimeters it full in the view full in the frame i mean i can see everything inside me except for the active one uh, dynamic one it's a lot of crap for real <laughs> i'm gonna turn off the door